Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. I do apologize for my voice because I've just finished a live on my YouTube channel. I do free psychic readings most Sundays. So I've just finished that. So here we go with today's prediction of what is coming. Okay, I just want to draw your attention first of all over to something that I did five months ago. I did a video where I was saying that Donald Trump was going to win the US election in November 2024. And I also said at this point that something was going to be done in late September that is going to virtually upset the whole world where they have to stop um, Trump at all costs. Okay, so let's just throw some evidence in there. First of all, um, why can't I share screen? Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. So here is my YouTube channel and Dr. Linda Kramer. And if we scroll down because we have to go past five months, okay, go down to five months ago. Here it is. Prophecy. Will Donald Trump win the election? It's got two and a half thousand views from five months ago. So I had to show that because it was five months ago that I was showing people, um, explaining to people that this is now happening. Okay, so there's a confirmation. Donald Trump is still on play here to win the US election in November 2024. So let's go there with what's now happening. I have long said since 2001 that there's going to be a lot of lies and deceit. Sheep will be wearing wolves' clothing and the wolves will be, will be wearing sheep's clothing. So on both sides, there's going to be lies and deceit. So even on my Today Live, I actually said that I was in that. I was deceiving because I did not wear masks when they told us to. When they told us not to go into our backyards, I still went into my backyard and got the sun on me because I know the benefits of the health improvements I get from the sun. And I'm not a medical doctor, okay? But I know I needed my vitamin D and I had a backyard that was safe and secure. So I went out there and bingo, look what happened. Now all those mandates are unlawful and all the fines that they imposed are now being reimbursed. So lies and deceit. Now, one thing I said in my prophecy from 2001 is that those who do lie and deceive, their true colours will come out and they will be held accountable. So look at me. I lied. I told the government I wasn't going outside. I lied when I said to the government, I'll wear my mask, which I didn't do. And look at the consequence that I have now got. I've got my health. And most of all, my integrity is still intact. So there's that justice, okay? I will never judge who did what and who didn't do what. I don't care who took those mandates. I don't care who didn't follow the mandates because we all have our own life path and we all have our own life contract to be here to learn specific life lessons. I just explained that in my live that I just did today on the um, 8th of September, if you want to go and watch that live where I do my free psychic readings. Um, it's in the first 10 minutes, so if you want to watch that. So anyway, I'll put the link below in the description of my live if you want to hear what I said about how we've all got to love each other through what we've all done personally, okay? It's a good way to learn how to treat others, okay? If you want to go watch it, I'll put the link, um, link below. So what I'm also going to do is the link below is to what I've just seen this morning on Russell Brand. Some of you may love him. Some of you don't like him at all. But he's not what he said today. It's what Bobby Kennedy has said today. Bobby Kennedy has come out. Now, I've got to show you this first so you know where to go and find it. And I'm also going to put the link to this one below as well. So here is Russell Brand's channel, okay? And here he is, Russell Brandt, and on his channel, first thing up today, so this was only four hours ago, it's called A Reckoning is Coming. 
and he talks with Bobby Kennedy about what's coming to those who hey, hurt us. Oops. So he talks about Bobby Kennedy. So here's Bobby Kennedy, okay, in Russell Brand's. I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it just in case there are um, copyright infringements. So you can go find this yourself and I will certainly put the link below, okay? So what I'm going to tell you is, is, a, is a quote of what Bobby Kennedy has said. I've written it down this morning when he said it. So in this video, it's called A Reckoning is Coming. Fauci, Gates, pharmaceutical companies are all being taken to task. The FDA is about to be taken to task. The CDC will be taken to task. The NIH will be taken to task. And Anthony Fauci may be taken to trial over this. So what does he actually say? Here is a quote from Bobby Kennedy, Robert RF Kennedy, if you want to know his real name. Here is what he says today, which Russell Brandt has also shared. There were cures from COVID from day one. There was a very effective cure, but they didn't want that. They wanted the vaccine only. And there is a rule, a little known federal rule that they were aware of, who, which said that if you that you cannot issue an emergency use authorization for a vaccine if there is enough if there is already an existing remedy that has been already approved for any use and if they admitted that if, if hydroxychloroquine or phentermenophen or ivermectin or any of the other 25 existing therapeutic drugs that were very effective against COVID. If they admitted that any of them were effective, the whole vaccine program would have fallen apart. They couldn't have done it. And then they decided that they were going to pretend that there was no cure except for the vaccine. So then he goes on to talk about how many people now have heart problems, how many sports people have fallen down on the field and died of heart attacks. And he throws in some other statistics. So what does this mean for the rest of us guys, for us real people out there? Uh, Robert Kennedy has just endorsed Trump for the election. This is big. And what he's saying with Russ, in this Russell Brandt video is that Trump, if elected, he's going to go out and take these people down. He's going to make them accountable for what they've done. Now, we've got to look at the time zones here, the timestamp. Donald Trump was elected in November of 2020. Sorry, 2019, I think it was, whenever it was. And it was two months later that COVID came out. This was already planned before he got in. And in my own opinion, under my own free speech, I believe personally that it was done deliberately to bring him down. That's what I believe. Now, who are the people behind the puppets? Because I believe there's puppets out there. And we're about to see some very harsh punishments come into those who started this and brought out all those contracts. I believe that the CDC, the World Health Organization, the FDA, the NIH, and other funded bodies out there from Fauci, Gates, and all the rest of them, they're all now going to be looked at. They're all going to be scrutinised and to see what was law and what was unlawful or even illegal. I believe that if Trump gets in, and this is my prophecy, that he will get in, he's going to bring the hammer down and he's going to start some serious cleaning up of what they did. Now, who is they is the big question here. 
So we have to look who was in office before Trump. That's all I'm going to say. Be wise if you're voting in America. Be wise. Because my prophecy is still standing. Trump's in. My prophecy is still standing that there can only be a peace if we have someone in who's cleaning up the mess of those before them. So I don't have any political allegiances. I don't align to any politician. I don't personally, I don't, I don't like any politician. I don't like any government body, okay? So I'm not taking sides here, but I'm just telling you what my prophecy is. And at this point, it's still coming true. So there you go, guys, something to think about. Lies and deceivers are being brought down. Justice is coming. And most importantly, good things are coming to those who have been loyal to their intuition. So that's me for today. Love you all. Have a great afternoon. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.